All right, you are welcome back. Apostle, before we went, you know, you've made it, I mean, you've talked about it several times that even being here on this Oracle Television Network, it's your, f your debut yeah. Yeah. for like, what should I say, 36 years in ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. only been on the radio, not... No, not the TV. On the TV. Yeah. You know, some ministers of God, two years into ministry, three years, they start going on the television. And there are a lot of big shots on the screen, mm -hmm. television screens. Mm -hmm. And to them, it's kind of a blessing of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you have been faithful all these years. Yeah. And a door yeah. of being on the screen yeah. was not yet open. open. How were you able to, you know, stand this test? You know what, when you put God first, you see, there is an addiction. Mm. Even in life, they say you're addicted to drugs. Hmm. But if the focus is for you to get high, you are prone to get addicted to what makes you high. Hmm. But I, 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 I purpose to be addicted with Jesus. Hmm. See, I see some, some may look at me and say, who's that? <laughs> That's the guy you saw before. But you see, I went underneath. Right. I went under the covers. Right. There are times God puts us under the covers hmm. to uh, to put us together. Mm. You see, God rewards faithfulness, right. tenacity, mm. commitment. He rewards all that. Mm. You know, and um, I did not, I'm not on this TV right now saying, oh, see me on TV. <laughs> if that's the case, forget it. Mm. I want to pass on what God has put in me. Right. That's what, I, after all said and done and nobody is blessed, it's useless. Right. See, people use these open doors as fanfare. Mm. No, I don't, that, that's not what God wants us to do. Mm. God wants us to be passionate about Him, mm. not passionate about the access, mm. the open doors. Mm. That's wrong. Mm. You know? And I don't know what God is going to do from now on. Mm. It's up to Him. Right. I'm not dying to say, okay, I'm jumping from this network to this network. Let it jump. The Bible says if you seek first the kingdom of God and all is right. So sometimes we're seeking the kingdom just to get the benefit of the kingdom. Mm. But when you seek the kingdom and get the benefit of the kingdom and the righteousness of the kingdom, mm. the right living, right standing of the mm. kingdom, mm. Uh, that's the best, uh, uh, the best achievement. Mm. You know, um, maybe you saw a lot of your friends, maybe the people you started ministry oh, yeah. with and on television and all yeah. that. You never felt like you were left out, you no. were not fretting. No, no. Beloved. You didn't think God was not being I good to you. Let me say, I, I was listening to God. Mm. He kept on telling me, "I have not forgotten you." Wow. Somebody, God has spoken to you just today right. that He has not forgotten you. Mm. Take it seriously. Amen. There was a time I said, "God, stop telling me." You have not <laughs> forgotten you. I know you know that, but you're telling me that in the next minute could be my break. Mm. But it puts raises my hope high. Mm. And the and trophy God, was not yet coming. Yes, and thank God my hope doesn't crash because wow. it stays stable. So you went through struggles. You, you yes, struggle with that. Yeah, struggles. Um, being the, the, the greatest struggle is not struggle, maybe uh, addiction, you know, sexual struggles. Mm. Or that God preserved me. You I know, mean, talking people. about you not coming on the television. Yeah. There were times you were struggling. You asked God, why yeah. are you not you know, doing this you for see, me? I was caught up with him. See, when you're caught up with somebody, mm. nothing else counts. Right. I, I did not strive. I even right now, I have a GoPro, I have uh, something, but it's sitting at home. I could not do nothing. Mm -hmm. I would have been on Blue, uh, uh, YouTube mm -hmm. many times over. Mm -hmm. and I, I, I'm very relaxed. I said, God, I don't want to do this because of me. Wow. I want it done because of you. Right. You know, most people see it like you put it in a different way that being on the television big screen and maybe you know some uh, media it's kind of God making my ministry explode yeah. exposing me making me you, you know you never felt like you you you, you were Left still hand. in obscurity and I, I, your I, ministry I, was not flourishing yeah, you never felt that way for what it has done to many who were watching 
my ministry has been a, a, a instrumental to big ministries. Mm. If my friend uh, uh, Bishop was, uh, uh, Obembe is <laughs> watching, you know, if this is me, your friend. Uh -huh. Bishop Osani is watching this. This is, is what God friend. has done. And, uh, and then uh, 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 Pastor Chris Okote, mm. my friend. All in Nigeria? Me, yes, who mm. made me and said, come help me uh, start the church. I did. Wow. Know, with all of my heart. And I don't believe anyone could say I did something that is not right. Mm. Because my heart has been yearning for God. Mm. So that's my number one desire till this moment. My friend of sound, he made me say, you've not changed. I said, better not change for the, the worst. The worst, but for the best. Change for the best. Right, the Listen best. Listen to me, change for the best. You're going to get more than best. Wow. So what kept you, what made you still keep believing God that one day he's going to do this? was the fact that you had this passion for him, for, him, yeah. for his work, I not for the driven. things he will give you. I was super driven by the passion till, till tomorrow. And so you were telling some of us listening that your passion for the Lord as well will keep you yes. when especially, you know, some manifestations of prophecies keep and long. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, I, I caused my body to begin to conform with my spirit. Mm. How did See, you do that? It's a it's a force. I said, listen, hmm. don't worry about what's going on. People talk down. People do. This. You talk to yourself. Yeah, I talk to myself. I, I mean, the, uh, the Bible says that we we have to encourage ourselves right. in the Lord. Mm. See, he's done. So like said, David no. did. Yeah, David did that, and and then we can do that and stay the course and pass through all the hurdles. I believe, Brother Joseph who mm. is a typical example of how <laughs> we can come from all mm. to start up, mm. stay the course. Mm. But he had a vision, he had a dream. Mm. Please, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, mm. let's get the vision, get the dream, mm. and write it, seal it, go over it, over and over, read it and run, keep reading and running, reading and running. Mm. Now, because that's what kept the, uh, Joseph. All right. Joseph had a dream that he, the family were bowing down to him. Mm -hmm. And what happened? It came to pass. Right. See, the Bible says, wow. He that endures to the end, the mm. same shall be saved. Mm. Save not just to heaven, save in time, save in eternity. Mm. So, hey, no matter how long it looks like what God has promised you, whether in ministry, maybe you're still obscure and you're wondering when is God going to explode and expose you out there? Um, you know, whatever prophecy it is, Apostle is making us know. Hold on to the word. God will do it. Don't give up yet. Wow, this is a great word to someone out there, and thank you for sharing this part of your experience. And, and not only mm -hmm. that, you know, right. coming to me in America here, mm -hmm. the Lord has opened me up. In the eight years of President uh, George W. Bush, I mentioned in the last okay. time, I, the Lord told me, go after him. I serviced it. Mm -hmm. Yes, the other day I had my lapel pin. It's a limited edition from co Congress, mm -hmm. the Republican Congress, okay. which I'm not a Republican, I'm not <laughs> a Democrat, but I'm just Jesus Christ. Whoa, Jesus I like Christ. that. <laughs> and then giving me all the things, a flag in my office. I said, thank God, and never call. Pictures and letters from the president. Mm -hmm. uh, just, uh, just uh, just decorate my office. Just because yeah. you responded to that yes, obedience God. to yes. go to Both him. Aside to his rise in stardom, mm. not knowing that 9-11 was the catalyst, was going to be the catalyst for that. Wow. It was at the, the, that rubble, and the, he had a bullhorn mm. that his radio went up to the sky. I mm. told him, I said, don't worry, mm. God says, he gave me that chance mm. that people are going to see. I didn't know from what well, I know from the spirit, and it came to pass. Didn't you feel never having to go no, to him? And no, you see, when you see, <laughs> you see, you see, birds of the same feathers flock together. Right. When you flock together with God, He gives you bonus like a liar. Mm. I can stand before anybody and, and declare the word. Wow. I mean, you know, so far as He's spoken. Yeah. Mm. It, 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 it's, it's, it's something we have to cultivate. Mm. You know, don't mimic. Some people are good at mimicking <laughs> others, or, uh, or just uh, just copying others. Mm -hmm. Don't. We were talking in the in the car. Uh, we were coming. Don't copy the, uh, everything about someone. 
get extra and be your unique nature for God. Mm. You see, I have a way that I do stuff, even broadcast. My radio broadcast was bringing in unbelievers. The way I coined the phraseology mm. and bring it out, they say, wow, I like that. I never heard that mm. before. That's unique. Every right. one of us is unique. Right. Follow your uniqueness mm. from heaven mm. and you will not mm. make a mess. Wow, amen, 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 amen. Incredible, incredible. Well, um, you know, to some of us who are so hasty to get their ministries all out there, you know, mm -hmm. they feel threatened, like, uh, am I ever going to have this great ministry because everybody is going out there, you know. Mm -hmm. Some youngsters especially mm -hmm. start ministry and they are rushing to, to be known mm -hmm. all out there. What do you say to them? I, I mean, you went through a lot yes. of process before. I will say this from my business IQ, mm -hmm. same thing. You know, they say, don't go after money. Go after personal development. Mm. Okay. Mm. Personal development will beget money. Mm. I would say it's in the ministry, personal development in Christ will give you the mega ministry for Christ. And will you say that all these years that you've not had this trophy, you were going through a process, you have developed. Yeah. You think this is the right time? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing it because even when the, the, the offer was given to me, I said, well, if it doesn't work, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. You see, that's where we fulfill James chapter 1, mm -hmm. verse 1. You see, can it all joy when you fall in diverse temptation, knowing not that the trying of your faith, our faith has to be tried. Right. To, to take us from the man faith to the God faith. Mm -hmm. You see? But that the trial of a man is meant to bring you to patience mm. and then let patience have its full formation and mm. you will want nothing. Nothing. Whether it comes or goes, you are less perturbed about it. Mm. This is the life God wants us to enjoy. Mm. But some of us are enduring. Mm. You don't need to endure. Mm. Go back to the dying process that the outer shell gets out of the way mm. so that the inner man will come out say, here I am, wow. you gave me. It will shake your hand and say, thank you for helping me. Mm. This There's a saying that goes, that the spirit is willing, but the flesh mm. is weak. Who do you support? <laughs> Who would we support? Is it the weak thing or the willing thing? Mm. That's up to you. I think you answered it rightly over there. <laughs> wow, so thanks so much. I know that um, you are being blessed, um, you who are going through a lot. And the process, you know, you've had a lot of um, prophecies and promises of, from God, and it's taken a while. The Amen. process is necessary. Amen. It is. Amen. So stay strong. Amen. And prophecy does not negate. Hmm. Bible says, my word does not go out and come back void. Hmm. You see, we void it. Hmm. We void, I say, from the word. So we can't void the word. Hmm. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Hmm. The devil will try to void the word. He cannot. Wow. You see. We have to be steadfast, mm. write the prophecy, mm. and watch it come to pass. Mm. Uh, Bless God. Right. Amen. Apostle, um, patience, mm -hmm. you make mention of patience. Mm -hmm. Many of us, the waiting period is hard. Mm -hmm. What in few seconds, like five, ten seconds, what will you say? How, patience, how, how can people, you know, have this patience? See, the patience we talk about from what God showed me, mm -hmm. may, may show more things to mm -hmm. the servant of God. It's, it's, it's patience is not, I'm waiting, I'm patient. Mm. When your, uh, your, your, your systems are running inside, mm -hmm. because it's not shown outside, you're running, if you, they say, go oh, now, you just run, say, oh, what patience? Patience is the nature of God in the spirit. The man who is good at that is not the flesh. Mm -hmm. It's our spirit man. Mm. And it is Jesus inside of us that can produce patience. And he is a patient we talk about. Let patience, let God, let Jesus have a full control mm. and we will lack nothing. Wow. You know, so uh, somebody saying, I can't I'm not patient enough. That means I say always. I say that means they don't have Jesus. <laughs> Practice patience, and you be patient. Practice it. It's a matter of practicing. It's not something that comes yeah. just like that, no, like no. supernaturally. You, lost you it practice. In Adam, 
we have to practice it mm. in Christ to gain it in mm. Christ. Wow. Thank you, Apostle. We'll go for a short break. When we come back, I know you have been through, um, you know, challenges to concern in your marriage. Yes. Yeah. I would like you to talk to us about that. I'll be delighted to do Yeah, that you have to stay tuned and yeah. listen to what he has to say. Yeah. Those of us who are struggling with even finding the right maids and all that, and you've been waiting long to meet this person. Apostle has something to share with you, to encourage you. So stay tuned. We'll be back soon. Well, you're welcome back. Now we're going into marriage. Apostle, mm -hmm. tell us about the challenges you faced in your marriage. Before that, are you married now? I am, I believe, on the waiting list. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but I know you've been married yes. before. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, this is it. Coming from my uh, way back, I uh, was a virgin, and um, God used my father to threatened me not to run around. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I wasn't that righteous, but I didn't smoke, drink, <laughs> or chase women. Mm -hmm. The common sense as a young man. Yes. <laughs> and I had, I, w I had challenges on that, but I did not give Wow. Up. But when I got born again, I had uh, somebody in my village that I was I My parents knew about her. Mm -hmm. She went another way. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> and then the fight went on to, until I came to meet him. I was in the States and I met uh, from, uh, my friend. He, he passed away. And because of my desire to help her during the course, something ignited. Mm. Because I looked very much like the former husband. Mm. And then I said, well, if this is what God wants, we go ahead. Thank you me. knew God wanted that. Well, I stepped out in faith. Okay. You know, I wouldn't say God told me mm -hmm. that's it, mm -hmm. but I knew that sometimes when God tells you to do something, the enemy will fight you mm -hmm. to finish. Right. And this has been one of the things that the enemy has fought me, but he's still not won. In the area of marriage. Marriage, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I am one who I, I keep to my, 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 my stance, mm -hmm. you know, strict, integrity. I don't want to raise God. I can created, testify to that. Yeah, God <laughs> has created beautiful people, but they're not for me, just one. Mm -hmm. So that, the enemy kept attacking. Now, I was caused to be kicked out of the house. Even when I had a church, the church was just stopped because my wife then did not come along with me. She had to go back to her former church, and then she was told that that's where she belonged. Okay, so you were in the same church with her, but then you left no, the church. I did not leave the church. Mm. I was affiliated to the church. Okay. The church in some way so gave me support while I was in the Bible college. All right. So out of the kindness of my heart, I wanted to reciprocate, mm. re reciprocate right. by gesture, good gestures, mm. and say, 
their mother are family. But that one was God's yeah. will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I said uh, I do that much. So when I saw her there, instead of having the support to do that, the husband, uh, the, the the pastor mm -hmm. did not buy into that. The when you were wife, leaving. Yeah, when 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 I was at my, you know, I, here I was still in that in, in in New York. Okay. So the pastor bought the ad it didn't buy it and fought against it. But the wife uh, was so in like, love with me, wanted the best of me. Wow. And that when that went into the whole thing fell apart. They had a divorce. Yeah, and moved on. I mean you were saying the your the woman who then became your wife, yeah. he, she was married. She was married, the husband died. Okay, husband died. okay. But the pastor, of our pastor, mm -hmm. did not buy the idea of me getting married to her. To her, okay. Mm -hmm. Any but personal reasons you think he I had? Okay. They say, well, she is so instrumental in the church. Okay. So if she leaves, then that vacancy. Oh, meaning she, he knew that you may go away with her because yeah, you, that's that wasn't your church, you were yeah. just serving. Yeah. That's uh, affiliate church, but I started my own church okay. before the marriage came in. Mm. So when they came in, uh, she went off, and everybody said, well, the pastor, why was not here? Why? Why was the pastor mm -hmm. that? He made some of the sisters who were married to say, well, they were left. So I went wow. down the church and moved up and stayed in years, five years, and then met another man of God went to the church and then in the process I saw a sister asking who is this she came to set up things for me. Mm -hmm. I went through the right so and then they, that ended up in control. So this is a second wife? Yes. So the first wife, um, what reason did she really have to leave you? She did not want to come along with me because So I the church you set me. up? Yeah. So wow. How long were you married? About three years around Three years. Wow. Yeah. So kind of she chose her former church yeah, over you. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> where it's written in the Bible. Wow. The Bible says, to pray to the wife, the wife should be one and continue on. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to just bundle, right. bunch down. Right. You know, you listen to God, even if you have children, mm -hmm. you have to tell them, well, go the way God is leading you. Because your mm -hmm. father does not tell, make you feel you must do this. Mm. That's, 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 that's not God. Mm. Before you go to the second wife, you know, so talking about people who are married but in different denominations, denominations yes. what do you say to that? You think it's not right? Well, they have to come to a consensus, mm. you know, because it's, it's a division. It's not that, it's a denomination, almost like I would say demon nation, <laughs> split nation. You don't have to be split. Yes, it might be the wife. Uh, was the first to know the Lord mm -hmm. and then brought the husband. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, let me put it the other way. The wife was in another church, the husband in another church. Mm -hmm. It seems the wife is the head. You follow your head. I mean, the husband is the head. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. What if the wife feels like the husband is making the wrong choice? Yes. It's re the, the choice he's making is not from God. Yeah. Does she still have to follow him? The thing is, for what I know, that has good behavior can win the husband. So she should go with yeah, him go and with then him. submit they, as yes, a woman. Submit and then, let, you see, this thing is a man with ego. Right. Who would say, I'm the head. Right. I do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And the wife could win her, win him, mm -hmm. sorry, then to cause him to come along. Mm -hmm. And there has to be, not, see, people are so denominational minded that mm -hmm. they will give up Jesus for denomination. That's right. And that's not good. If you such a person, please don't do that. Mm -hmm. Love the Lord with all of your heart mm -hmm. and give up anything, whether it be the church, the pastor, mm -hmm. the attachment, so too much of attachment. I tell folks, don't get attached to me too much mm -hmm. so that I, mis I don't mislead you. Right. Uh, Isaiah did with Uzziah. Mm -hmm. When Uzziah died, right. that's when he, he saw, saw the glory. So don't right. let's not repeat that anymore. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about a second wife. What happened to this one? I d depended. I just believed the pastor gave all that I need. I had a project that God told me to help him deal, even 
build the church and then even build the building, mm. which I did to the finish. And then when I was done for the other church. Yes, when I was finished, the Lord told me that your assignment is finished. But He was not pleased that I said the assignment is finished. Now I was married to one of the members mm. who he said was very prominent at mm. Osho leader. The first wife. Yeah, mm. no, like no, the second. One. Okay. Prominent. And then, and when I went to another church, as I was sent, he said, no, why should I go? I should stay there. And she said, no, stay here. And then I said, I will follow. I will go where God told me to go. Well, no, you could stay. And so stay. And um, uh, I, said, I saw in a dream that this man of God was stalking me mm -hmm. because he wants to use me for his own benefit, not use me as a God, and as God would desire. So that wow. went on until she began to opt to do some things and decided to move on and mm. call for the boss. She began to do what yeah. things? Run away, run away with a gentleman who was a member of that church. And wow. They knew him to be a uh, womanizer. She committed adultery. I believe she did because she, she said something to me that 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 that, that region that that, that, uh, that uh, area. I said, well, I know you really done. You want to do what you want to do. And then at the given time, moved out of the house and I moved. And we had a business. How how did you take it? I mean, wasn't it a burden? So, I would say I kept on eating from the well, or drinking from the well. Mm. I kept on feeding my spirit. Like Joshua said, this book of the Lord should not depart from you. Wow. So I meditate day and night, day and night prescription. And you shall make your way prosperous and find good success. Mm. That's where my success is. So it looks like all these two divorces, if I should say, it yeah. was, a re the reason behind it was a matter of you having to obey the voice of God yes. and they were not willing to yeah. 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 go with it, you. It, it just looked the same because these are two men of God. Mm -hmm. you know, two men of God. That's, that's where that came out to be. But, but, but you that's why we mm -hmm. have to be careful how we advise people, we counsel people, mm -hmm. we counsel them to your benefit. Right. I don't want anybody to be counseled to my benefit. Mm -hmm. Let it benefit be of God. Right. So right. let's turn people to God, not turn people to ourselves. That's right. That's so right. They might be innocent trying to do what they do best, the feeling that this is a good gesture. Mm -hmm. And it might be totally wrong. So you really stood on the word of God. You stood by God's side. Yes. My marriage can go, yes. but I am not compromising. Yes. Well, I'm standing right. with God. That's right. The taboo of saying a divorce was trying to rob of me. But I said, no, wow. you know, my heart is clean, my heart is clear. You never did I'm anything wrong to them? No. You did not yeah, become unfaithful? No, no, I did I love that. You see, I am one who, when I love something, I just love it and keep loving it because God gives me, mm -hmm. to show me if I love this side and this side is expires, I'm going to love another side. And everything that gives the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you can use God and love that over and over. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what happened. Wow. And then um, in Boston, I met a, a man, a woman of God, not knowing that she had a crisis that she could not let go. Mm. She was uh, disappointed by somebody who said they were going to marry her, not knowing that it's a married man. And, wow. and then she got a baby from that person, and it turned out to be that he used her. Wow. And that could hit her. So when I met, I came to find out no cure. She mm. didn't want to have cure. Mm. And started coming on me, started abusing me. Finally, I said, um, You mean you got married to that woman? Yes. Will you say out of sympathy? But part of, part partially that. And Is it also right? because she was a woman of God. You know, sometimes you say, well, uh, this person who had been uh, in the faith and done so much will be able to, will be able to right. work together. Right. You know? And it came out that it couldn't work for me to the point she was fighting me and said, well, I'll bring you down. I said, well, you wow. bring me down, even put me She up. said that? Yes. He said, look, I'm, I, when I look at your face, I see the face of the other person. 
Whoa, the ex-husband. Yes, no, the ex-husband. The person, okay. The person who was the boyfriend, he had a son. Okay. And this was even trying to think that I was moving on in the ministry. As I was sent to Massachusetts, I was going on bringing pastors together. Mm. And we prayed because I knew I went there for warfare. Mm. And indeed, she wasn't coming along. Wow. And then she was actually preaching the church and confessed. He said, my husband, if you're not a prayerful person, you can't sleep in the same room. She never slept in the room. She confessed that about you? Yes, in the public. So the will you say there was something demonically wrong with her? I think because she gave her mind to the, the, to the point that uh, depression became a sickness. But when you married her, she wasn't so. Yeah, she appeared Because I, I'm to be tempted so. to ask that a whole man of God, someone yeah. who say, mm -hmm. you're going to get married and you couldn't know this woman is going to be a snare to you in the future. Is it because you, you, you really did not seek for God's confirmation? Yeah, part, part, part of that, you mm -hmm. just went on the train mm -hmm. and began to align some things. And again, the sympathy. You know, right. The sympathy. I, I mean, so will you say it's right for people to no, enter no. into marriage because of sympathy? No, no, no. no. It should be God that. says yes, yes, right? No, I wouldn't say so. Uh, the thing is, and also, because everything is work out. Mm. You see, if two people agree that's touching anything, it work out. Yeah, I find out that because I was saying God sent me from heaven. Uh -huh. I, as a man of faith, because I, uh, and, and then I check my, my, my spirit to see from where I'm coming from. Mm. Because not because I want or a wife for sex or what mm. I say look I want a partner who will do the work of God. Mm. That's all what has driven me. Are you still and looking? I said, uh, yeah. And uh, I, I was driven by seeing somebody and if I see a gift in them, I want to find it. Mm. Even if it's not for my youth, find it for, the for the kingdom. Yeah. Are you still looking, searching? Well, I would not say no because <laughs> I've had different instances where even men of God will say, we want to help you. But some help me for their own reason. Mm. People want to do that. And when I see that pullback, when I say, I'm not giving up, I don't. You, you see, somebody will say, you, you fall seven times, you want to, you should give up. God says, don't give up. Because God has so, made you know you're going to get married, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Because, you know, without, I mean, from who I am, I have siblings who have sons and daughters who right. are bigger than me. <laughs> I'm not cursed, I'm blessed. Amen. Okay, so uh, do you go through temptations sometimes? Yeah, but I, I, it, it doesn't affect me. I, I, see, I keep myself mm. because of how I'm yielded to God. The you know, word, the, the of, spiritual so discipline. A woman, you know, having a woman. It will come with, I say, right. listen, I cannot use five minutes to mess up my, my whole career. Mm. No, mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I wait. Mm. I wait. Mm. And that's been. Matter. Wow, and that's a great of, point you've a made. A couple of attempts have been in it, hoping and thinking it, that's a new, 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 new. It, is it when you are conscious of God, mm. it is, I tell you, I don't know if people, it's not difficult, difficult to be totally sold into this God we're talking about. Mm. He will keep you. All it takes is your daily discipline with Him. Yes, yes, daily, uh, 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 daily sacrifice. Mm. Daily sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. Mm. Everything you do for God is sacrifice. Without wow. sacrifice, He came from heaven through sacrifice. Mm. We go to heaven through sacrifice. Mm. We have to give. And um, that day, I am sure I will be at your wedding. This is going to be a great Amen. testimony. Amen. You know, many have been waiting for years. People think the uh, biological clock is ticking and yeah. I'm too old now yeah. to get married and why is the woman not coming? Why is the man not coming? You have gone through two divorces. Three. Three, yes. Yeah. I mean. I'm not, see, it's it, not something that makes me ashamed because uh -huh. I didn't. It, it you didn't do anything. Doing. I want to stick with one. I didn't run out there in the world mm. to say, well, it's sex, sex, sex. Mm. No, no, no. I stayed on. Mm. And, and, and you are still, uh, uh, some will say these are disappointments and pains and hurt. Yeah. 
but you are still believing God yes. to find the right person That's one right. day. I'm, I'm using everything that has happened to mm. become who I, right. I have to be. Part of the process. Yes. How do I handle disappointment, mm. rejection? Mm. And if I can, so one of them told me, say, you are locked like a sponge. I said, who made me a sponge? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, and you absorb all these things as mm. they come out. A mm. sponge, you, when you, you, you absorb water and you squeeze it, it comes right back up. And so you say you've learned a lot yeah. from all these wow. disappointments. I'm telling you, what's, what you're hearing part of it is because this body has been, been, been battered. Wow. So sometimes people see, they don't know the scars. Right. Yeah. There's no more scars. The scars that turns into scars. The sky not inside my suit, the physical, mm. because I don't like no scars. He lives here. Mm. I Amen. purposely don't want the scars to get in, because then when they get in, you can't take them out easily. Right. Wow. I think we will have to continue talking to you about your experiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is blessing me, and I believe it's blessing some of you out there. Yeah. God bless you for sharing with us. My pleasure. <laughs> and God has catch you. Yeah. And still wow, keeping. he's still keeping you. Yeah. Well, well let's wow. Mm -hmm. you right. When you sell out to God, it's not that easy, but when you determine it becomes easy. Mm. Even when I see a beautiful lady, beautiful, nice something, I see past that. Mm. My friends will say, wow, that would have been. That what do you goes. see on the other side? The other side is what is the, uh, the Bible says, what shall it profit? Mm. All these things are temporal mm. and transient. But if we give ourselves to these things as if they are permanent uh, fixtures, mm. we miss out. Right. We have to see things so that we don't get cut up mm. in them. Mm. I see, see, when you even see the world going, you see the destruction. Mm. Oh, holy, oh, look at them. Mm. And glamour. Mm. You see, beyond glamour, it's, it's crazy. This is a man whom the passion of the Lord, the vision of God is burning so much in him. And like he's been giving us some of these keys, he's been doing his daily sacrifices and daily, you know, spiritual disciplines. He's given us some of the keys that have been keeping him, have kept him and have been keeping him all this while. We've heard a lot of his experiences and it's amazing. God can do it for you. If you're waiting for somebody to get married to, and you, you're 40, you're 45, you think, when is my time coming? Hey, if God has said you will get married, you will get married. Be patient. No competition. Mm. People are saying, uh, uh, Alex got married, I am not. No, right. Each one of us has a day in God's court of blessing. Mm. Each one of us. Mm. Mm. be now to Right. Oh, yeah. Your I mean, time will come. Yeah. Your yeah, time yeah. will come. I think we will, we will have to have you again, Apostle, and talk, I mean, a whole lot about all these challenges people are also facing and you, you using what God has done with you, the yeah. process you've been through, to encourage and exalt some of us and bless us. Amen. God bless you for, for being here again. And thank you, wonderful ones, for listening. I know you will come back again to listen to us on Oracle Television with Apostle Victor Besong. God bless you. I've been really bored, your host. Bye bye.